Hello everyone. Today we are going to do two problems based on shear strength of the beam. Let us read the question and write the given data. A 250 mm wide RC beam. The width B is given as 250 mm with 500 mm depth. The overall depth D is given as 500 mm is reinforced with four numbers of 16 mm diameter bars. Using this data, we can find AST. For that, we will get 804.25 mm square. FE 415 grade steel is used. So, FI is 415. FI2 cover to reinforcement is 50 mm. D dash is 50 mm. We know that the effective depth D will be D minus D dash. So, 500 minus 50, it will be 450 mm. The beam is provided with 8 mm diameter, 2 legged vertical stirrups. Using that, we can find the area of the vertical stirrups. For that, we will get 100.5 mm square, 150 mm center to center. The spacing of the vertical stirrups is 150 mm. M20 concrete is used. FCK is 20. Determine the design strength in shear. In this problem, first we have to find the design shear strength of concrete that is tau c. We have to find the percentage of steel in tension. Using this formula, we can find that. For that, we will get 0.71. Now, we have to open IS456 code book, page number 73. Our PT is 0.71. It comes between 0.5 and 0.75. Our FCK is 20. So, we have to copy these two values. To find tau c for 0.71, we can use interpolation this value plus this minus this upon this minus this into this minus this. We will get 0.55. Now we have to take the page number 73. In the page number 73, BUS formula is given as BU minus tau c BD. BUS is the shear resisted by the shear reinforcement. In this question, that is the strength by vertical stirrups. We can take tau c BD on the other side. It will come as positive. We can keep tau c BD as BUC, which is the shear resisted by concrete. This is what asked in the question. BU, the design shear strength of the section. First, let us find VUC. We know that that is tau C BD. Let us apply the values of tau C and BD. For VUC, we will get this. We can divide this by 1000 so that we will get the value in kilo Newton. Now, let us find VUS, which is the shear resisted by the vertical links, which are the stirrups. Using this formula, we can find that. We know all of the values, we can apply them so that we will get this. We can divide this by 1000 so that we will get the value in kilo Newton. Now let us find the total shear resistance. For that we have to add VUS and VUC. When we add that we will get 170.72 kilo Newton. Now let us see the second problem. Most of the data is the same. The width and the overall depth D are given as 250 and 500. The effective cover is 50. Using that, we can find the effective depth D. FCK is 25 and FI is 415. Out of the four numbers of rebars, two of them are bent up at 45 degree. When we find AST, we should not consider the bent up bars. So, 4 minus 2, it will be 2. In this case, AST will be 2 into 5 into 16 square upon 4. We will get this. Now, for the bent up bars, we have to find the area ASV. Two of the bars are bent up. So, 2 into 5 into 16 square upon 4. We will get this. Two bars are not bent up. They are straight. And two bars are bent up. 
In this case, for AST and ASV, we will get the same value. The beam is also provided with 8 mm diameter, 2 liquid vertical stirrups. Using that data, we can find ASV. Since it is 2 legged, we have to multiply 2 into the area of the bar. For ASV, we will get this. There are two terms known as ASV. We can see that a little later how to apply them in the formulas. The stirrups spacing is given as 150 mm. Alpha is 45 degree. To find tau C, we need to find PT. For PT, we will get 0.36. 0.36 comes between 0.25 and 0.5. Our FCK is 25. So we have to select these two values. By interpolation, for 0.36, we can get a tau C as 0.42. In the same way we did in the previous problem, we can find PUC. For that, we will get 47.25 kN. In this problem, with the vertical links, we have also bent up bars. In this case, with this formula, we have to also add this formula. This ASV is the area of the stirrups and this ASV is the area of the bent up bars. For VUS, we will get 211.52 kN. To find VU, we have to add VUS and VUC. So that we will get 258.77 kN. Now let us see the last problem. In this problem, all of the data is the same except to one change. Out of the four numbers of bars, one of them is bent up at 45 degree. We know that for AST, we have to only consider the straight bars. 4 minus 1, it will be 3. So AST will be 603.18. For ASV, we have to only consider the bent up bar. Here only one bar is bent up. So 1 into the area of the rebar, we will get 201.36. The rest of the data is the same. For PT, we will get 0 0.53. 0 0.53 comes between 0.5 and 0.75. Our FCK is 25. So we have to select these two values. By using interpolation, we can find tau C for 0.53. Then we can find VUC. For that, we will get 55.57. Then we can find VUS. For that, we will get 160.2. To find VU, we have to add VUS and VUC. For VU, we will get 215.77 kN. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.